It's like I heard the barrel. I didn't hear the caca. I just heard the barrel rattle. Mm-hmm. When I turned back, he was already there, and I, and kind of went. You know, my instincts made me go on my toes. You know, and so he had it to the back of my head, and when I went up, it, it went in right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and it came out like that. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm gonna go back, like I said, to the place where you get shot. Cause mm-hmm. I want to know about that. I, that's what something that I really. I'm like, how did he end up getting shot? You know what I'm saying? I know you would. Something was going on. Yeah, um, I play hard in the street. You know, just like a lot of us do, um, selling drugs, and you know, I um, I did my fair share of wrong. And to be honest, so I'm not gonna try to make this super gangster or like. I know because yeah. I still don't know why. Tr- I don't know why. I don't know who. Okay. okay. I can guess why and I can guess who. I've guessed why and who a million times, and that got me nowhere. I can just say, um, <clears throat> whoever it was, they were square business. They weren't playing because they shot me from the back with a 12 gauge. Okay. And then stood over me to shoot me again. Where did this happen? At Don Carter's bowling alley in Fort Worth. So. Was it a place that was full that night, or yeah, was it? Yeah. So a lot of people was around. And yeah. who were you? You were you there with friends, or you were there by I was yourself? There with one of my good friends that's passed away right now. Um, okay. So we were, we were there drinking, you know, cel- cel- well, you know, not celebrating, but you know, just having a good time because he was having to turn himself in. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You know? So he called uh, a girl and some other chick that once been had trying to get at me for the longest or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so, really, long story short, and to sum it up, I got tricked, mm-hmm. in, in, you know, into the conversation with the chick. And so, while I was uh, out, when I went to the parking lot, kind of from what I can remember, because it's cloudy, you know, we, you know, you see those movies and people mm-hmm. really don't remember. And it's, it's a real thing. That's a real thing. Mm. And and, it, and where's your camera that I'm looking? All three of these. Okay. <laughs> and the people that shot me know I don't remember. Mm. They, yeah. they, they know that they know that and they're happy about it i mean you know either mm. they, but they know i don't know, you know okay but yeah i get where you come from. so it's from the back she was talking to you right yeah, here yeah I, I was kind of kneeled down in the car you know talking to her you know you get out and put your arms up on mm-hmm. the window and i remember somebody calling my name like hey so and so and so and so and i turned walked a couple steps toward him and he asked me if I knew, if I can remember correctly, asked me if I knew somebody named Kevin or something like that, or Kale or something, something like that. And I was like, nah, nigga. I, but this particular night, I wasn't strapped. We playing a game. This is our guy at work. Playing a game, me and my cousin Shannon, my best friend Caddy, and uh, my other partner that I was with, Wayne. Uh, uh, I'm playing a game, so I ain't have my strap. And when I turn back around to walk back toward the car, you know how you could pull up a 12 gauge and you can hear the barrel mm-hmm, rattle? Mm-hmm. It's like I heard the barrel. I didn't hear the cock cock, I just heard the barrel rattle. Mm-hmm. When I turned back, he was already there. And I, and kind of went, you know, my instincts made me go on my toes, you know. And so he had it to the back of my head. And when I went up, it, it went in right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and it came out like that. Yeah. Mm. So that's how it ends up just Yeah, it went in here but but I went on my toes so it, the girl So you down. I'm not gonna say lucky, that was God. Oh, that, that, was, ain't, yeah, that, that ain't no, God. no Definitely no, God. That was God. <clears throat> it was. Definitely God. But after that though, okay, you know, sometimes I'm trying to figure out what your state of mind was after that because some people be like, man, I'm going to change my life because right. I know God trying to tell me something, blah, blah, right. blah. But the other set of people be like, man, I'm on a different temperature now because right. I'm going to this, this, this. So what was your temperature after something like that? Um, you know, like I said before, I said some people get shot and, you know, you had to come to Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's time for me to straighten up. And uh, I was the exact opposite. I, um, I wanted who did it. I wanted them bad. And, uh, how long did it take you to heal? I want to mm-hmm. go back to that because okay. I don't. We kind of skipped up. I okay. Wanna, okay. How, like when you when you, how do how long did I know you out of it? When this happened, are you are you are you stable enough to see what's going on after that? Well, I thought somebody had um, beat for me. I thought you know we Nick, call it in Texas. Yeah, somebody hit you. St- yeah. You know, stole me, but I, I said they had to hit me with a bat. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what it felt like. Yeah. Wow. In my mind, at the in your time, mind. you know. So you didn't realize that. Part of his face was gone. Only time when I realized it is when I say uh, my best friend ran over. He said, "Bitch, don't die." 
I say, somebody beef on me. And so I put, remember putting my arm up trying to get up. He said, no, nah, lay down. Somebody shot you in the back of the head. And then I, when I turned my head this way, now I could see the blood pooling up. And I just said a prayer. I said, God, have you ever been with me? Be with me now. Now, I'm not hurting. You know, a lot of people are like, hey, is it hurt real bad? It was more of a throb. You know how you get a headache sometime or a toothache and you can just feel that boom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was more of that. And just like a deep hurt, like, but not like excruciating, you know. I don't know. I've never been shot with little bullets. Mm -hmm. This was a 12-gauge slug, so... Um, when I looked to the side, I could see that that pulled up, and that's when I kind of, you know, got a look. I didn't really get nervous. I just di didn't want to die. You know? And I think that helps that you didn't. But get I was there. drunk, so that that helps. That really. So helped. that helps when you get <clears throat> yeah, shot. Yeah, that helps because you don't. Kept me from going in the shot. Oh. Yeah. And so. some white guy ran out and held my legs up. One of my other friends, named uh, Lucky, he was there, you know. Um, so you know, just yeah. So how long did it take you when you went to the hospital? You stayed at the hospital how long in the healing process? I, you know, I don't want to give you false information, but I think I may have been in the hospital, you know, a couple, maybe a month or so. Yeah. But it took, I was paralyzed, right? I was paralyzed wow. on, my, on my left side. Right? Okay. And so um, your right controls you. I was about to say, on your left side, but you got yeah. shot on your, yeah, your right, right side. your right controls left. You yeah. Know? Oh. It's crazy, right? See, because even now, this show, I'm real insecure about the shoulder, you know, yeah. because it'll, it'll lean down. Because as you get out, it, the bullet was was uh, so impactful that it, uh, it it shifted my spine just a little bit about wow. a fingernail. But wow. as I grew, especially with you know, the prison, started lifting weights and growing, because I was only 19, Yeah, it shifts. You know, wow. So, so that's what makes this kind of go down. So I tend to bring it up, you know, just unconsciously. Unconsciously, yeah. yeah. Wow. How long did you take for your, um, okay, so it was paralyzed on that side. How long did you take to about get the feeling? Months. About six months, yeah, like I... So you couldn't move it with, at all yeah, or anything like no, that? No, I couldn't move it for probably, uh, I'd say about a month, but then what it was is the motor skills were affected because they had to take an artery <coughs> out of my thigh, put it in my neck, yeah. oh, okay. out of my uh, ankle. To, you know, they, they mm -hmm. Frankenstein me, put mm -hmm. me back together, you know what I mean? So yeah. How many surgeries? Um, like two. Uh, the first surgery, when I came out, my play sister, the, the doctors didn't even notice that I was paralyzed. Wow. It took her. It took Pete to see that... Um, you couldn't Because she was doing like a hand. She was always grown. You know, even when we was and she wasn't even a nurse or nothing. She, no, heck no. She was just like, hey, feel my hand. See if you could, you know, she gave me all the Oh, property. wow. Yeah, so, and then she realized I couldn't do anything on the left side. Mm. They rushed me back in for another, like, 11-hour surgery or something like wow. that. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, they put me back together. They put you back together. Yeah, Frank's me. That's hard, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I was, that's one of the things I wanted to ask you about. I was like, man, I gotta, I, I gotta ask him about that because that's something man, that, man, you know what I mean? Man. That's something that the, your fans... You got a lot of fans, bro. Man, it's a you know, blessing. you was gone for a long time, yeah. and people still love Twisted Black. <laughs> Scar on my cheekbone, something you can't speak on. Twelve gauge wound, I'm still breathing, but now he gone. Gangsta yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.